what's up i am here to tell you a story that just happened yesterday or last night um yeah i got locked inside my room <laughs> and it was on my fault my lock didn't lock at all and i was kind of mad about it because like i want my privacy you know like what if i'm changing and someone just comes in you know all you can do is just push it even though it's locked I decided to adjust the, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's not the doorknob itself, it's the, the part with the hole on the other side. So I wanted to adjust it because it, it did not lock at all. And so I grabbed my dad's drill and I decided to take off the screws, right? And so, after I took that off, I adjusted it, and then I wanted to test it. So, I came inside my room, closed the door, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't open it anymore. <laughs> couldn't open it anymore, and I was like, Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on? Why can't I open it? Why? Oh, that didn't look right. I was like, why can't I open it? Hello? That doesn't look right either. I was on FaceTime and I told my friend to message my brother and be like, hey, when are you coming home? Because your little sister just locked herself in the room. And of course, my brother was laughing at me, but he said he was going to be home in 30 minutes. And so I was trying everything. I was trying to see if I could take the screws off of the doorknob. Um, I wanted to take the hinges out, but I didn't have any, like, the right tools or just anything. I don't know. I was trying to keep my cool, but I know, like, inside, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was keeping my cool. I tried everything, and I tried... I even told... I even messaged my mom, because, um... Oh, yeah, my phone was out there. And, like, I couldn't retrieve it. And I, I heard someone calling me, too. And um, I knew I knew it was my mom because they were coming home soon too. And so yeah, I messaged my mom. I told her, and then she called me on Facebook. And I told her what happened. They're like, "Oh my God, what are you doing to yourself? Like, you could wait for your dad." They were still they were on their way home, but they were still kind of far. And then my brother came home, and I was like, "Oh, oh." Queen just came home. I'll talk to you later. And then he came to the door and he was like, what did you do, Joyce? What did you do? <laughs> he got me a screwdriver. Like it was like, yeah, it was a small, like a little screwdriver without the handle thingy. And um, I was, I was um, unscrewing the, the doorknob. I thought, I was able to get out because I had that. The doorknob came out, but the middle part thingy, um, you know, with the, yeah. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, but whatever. Um, the middle part, well, I mean, it wouldn't come off like we were trying to push it so the latch thing could. You know, I don't know how you call it, <laughs> but um, yeah, so my brother grabbed this thing and started hammering it through so that I can pull it out. But when he did that, I couldn't pull it out for some reason because I don't know. I don't know. It was like, it was some type of doorknob that was like ancient. I don't my parents came home. My, my, my mom and dad, they, 
they kind of started laughing at me, making fun of me. And then my mom was kind of lecturing me. And she was like, why did you do it anyways? You should have waited for Papa. That's a guy's job. I would never do that, blah, 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 blah. Well, I thought it was easy to do. Like, I thought it was easy to fix. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh yeah, and while this was happening, um, I was live on Facebook. And, um, I mean, you can add me on Facebook if you want, I don't know, just to see what happened. Um, the whole thing is not on there though, cause like, I got interrupted cause of my calls that I was getting. Yeah, so my dad and my brother, they were trying to figure out what to do. Um, they actually gave me tools to, um, to take out the hinges. So I took out the hinges. And all they had to do was push it out. But, I don't know, the middle hinge was like stuck in there, real tight. Like, it did not want to budge. This room wanted me to stay in here. Like, I don't know what, what. Um, it would not budge. So they just went back to the doorknob and tried to see pieces were coming off. Um, oh yeah, my sister called me and they were helping me out and um, trying to see like how I could get out. Um, trying to see how to take off the doorknob thing, like in the middle, the middle thing. I think this like, ended up being like two, almost three hours, I wanna say. I'm not sure. I finally got out because, um, how did I get out? I don't remember. I was just happy that I was out. I didn't, I didn't need to be or anything. I was a little bit hungry, but like, I, I don't know, I felt fine. I don't know, how did I get, how did I get out? I don't remember. My dad did something, did something with the, that metal part and got it to open, I think. I don't even remember what happened. We took out all the, the, the stuff that was still in there, I guess, in the doorknob. Put back the hinges and um, now I have no doorknob. Mama's already cooking my favorite fried eggplant. All right, that is my favorite food. I will eat two rounds with rice and the sauce, soy sauce with Calamansi, that's actually uh, lime in Tagalog. Y'all just found out my favorite food and what I've been through. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. Um, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, um, Twitter if you like. Uh, you can add me on Facebook, whatever, whatever. Sometimes I reject, so I'm sorry if I reject you. Uh, um, you, like, you guys like my t-shirt? Uh, I support them, Lies District. Um, go check them out, they have a YouTube. They um, dance and stuff. You know, check them out, check them out, check them out, check them out. This is Joyce Angela. Thanks for watching.